What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Yeah, Bruno snoring on the floor over there. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about a topic I saw in Muscular Development Magazine, and it was on high intensity interval training leads to lower food intake. Okay, and the fact that this is coming out now in a study, I'm like, how the fuck did you guys not know this? I've recognized this throughout the years, and the fact that you don't know, you know, didn't know this was happening, and a lot of times they won't go any further to study out why it's like that. What they'll do is they'll, you know, figure out this is what works, this is what happens, and they just leave it at that. So, basically, let's break this down. When you're obese, basically, you, you are hungry all the time. Okay, you're, you're not all the time, but you're eating a lot more food. Now, as you start to exercise, and the, the hunger is the signal to the brain that you need food, that your body is starving, that you, you know, you need more nourishment, more calories. It goes to the brain, and you eat. Now, as you start to and when you're obese let's let's face facts let's backtrack a little when you're obese you're not really burning fat efficiently okay you're probably not burning fat much at all if anything you know you're having high and low blood sugar crashes which could be also causing the the urge to eat now when you start doing this higher intensity of interval training you start exercising in general what's going to happen is you're going to start to lose weight and they're like well i'm losing weight oh i'm eating less well as you start to do this exercise your body starts to mobilize and burn fat. And not just while you're in the gym. Fat loss happens over a 24 hour period. And sometimes even longer, it can be stimulated to last even longer. So if you did like a certain workout on Monday and did nothing till Wednesday, your metabolism could still be boosted. So as that, that fat is mobilized, the signal doesn't go to the brain anymore and say, I'm hungry. It has fuel that it's using to power the body. So now all of a sudden we have a readily accessible source of fuel the guy doesn't want to eat, or a girl, or whatever, doesn't want to eat as much anymore. You couple those two things together, you're going to eat less food. And you're going to eat less food over the course of, you know, a day's time, a week's time, whatever. You add that up over the course of months, and, of course, you know, you're going to lose weight. So next thing you know, it's like high-intensity interval training causes weight loss. Well, anything that mobilizes fat is going to cause weight loss. Anything that mobilizes fat is going to reduce that signal. Not cut it, but reduce the signal to the brain of hunger that wants to make you eat and make you overeat. So is this really groundbreaking fucking material that they're coming up with? I don't understand why they don't just take the basic survival mechanisms of the body, study those, and they'll understand why this other shit is going on. And whatever is not working like that, some kind of different you know, eating disorder or mental disability, whatever the case may be, that they have to eat all the time, that they're, or even a food addiction. But to say the fact that HIT, HIIT training you know, causes less food intake, now, if, and let's, let's kind of break this up a little bit too. That is a very short duration, high intensity training. Now, and I would say it's probably shorter than actually weightlifting with, um, with weights. If you go in the gym, you're probably gonna spend more than like 15, 20 minutes in their training. Now, on the flip side, if they took high intensity training, okay, I'm talking about the go to failure training and stuff like that, they would notice more hunger as opposed to less hunger. Now, why is that? Because let's say, right, well, let's just say for instance, you know, we take the same period of time. There's 30 minutes of high-intensity interval training cardio and 30 minutes of high-intensity training in the gym with weights. Why would you be hungry from doing the weights and not the cardio? Isn't it just exercise? Here's the deal. As you are breaking the tissue down, trying to stimulate the muscle in the gym with the weights, your body now has to rebuild. Not only does it re want to rebuild, but it wants to grow on top of it. That you need protein for. Protein comes from Food. So now what happens is it sends a signal, the body, the muscles essentially send a signal to the brain saying I'm hungry because it needs those calories of protein, carbs, and fats to rebuild and replenish the body and on top of it need to rebuild. So it can actually be stronger to, uh, you know, a stronger pull after weight training than it is cardio. So now you have these two variables that one seems to help you eat less food, the other one seems to want to make you eat more food. And a lot of times you'll see programs set up by trainers that are based on that weightlifting that you know, even if it's a small, minute amount that's stimulated the muscle, not even enough to really grow, it still sends a signal to the brain. And you get these people saying like, well, I don't have to do cardio, but I'm fucking hungry all the time. Well, that's why. Your body's trying to rebuild itself. Yes, you may not have to do cardio because you're busting your ass in the gym with the weights, but you now have to deal with the hunger pains, which some people can't fucking deal with. They can do everything else, but can't deal with hunger for some reason. So now, what's the answer? You know, what is the real answer to this, this, this equation of, you know, what's better, what do I do? You need to use both high intensity or just weight training in general and cardio in general. You need to combine them so that they work together and each parts, each part, excuse me, completes a piece of the puzzle. Cardio, weight training, supplementation, sleep, rest out of the gym, like rest days. All those things completely 
you know, work together, you're going to get the best results you can the fastest that you can. If you're taking just one thing by itself and saying, all right, I'm going to do the high intensity interval training, you know, the cardio, and you're like, oh, you know, I'm reducing my food intake, but I still look fucking flabby. Like I'm losing fat, but I look flabby. Well, you need to now add some kind of weight training to that to get the, mu- the muscles to rebuild and repair so that you start to get build muscle and look harder. And as you build muscle, your metabolism is going to get faster. It's going to speed up. So you're going to lose more fat. But be aware that the signal to the brain, even though you're accessing fat and you have plenty of fat in your body, is going to be stronger from the weight training than it is from the cardio. So I hope this made sense to some people because it makes perfect sense to me. But when I explain it, sometimes people just go, I don't get it. I mean, it's about as simple as I can explain it. It is, you know, about as primal as you can get. It's survival instincts. It's survival mechanisms. It's all that stuff that happens in the body. It's not about fucking being vain. It's not about the way you look. It's not about bodybuilding. It's about knowing how the body reacts and why it reacts to the situations that it's in and knowing what to do after that to get the best results. Biowatchertraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biowatchertraining.com is a blog and where it's a survival mechanism bicep and we're out.